Because if you set one hour per day on Earth, then Earth will even start losing well matter. Look how everything just flies off from Earth. Hello everyone, in this video I will gradually speed up the Earth's rotation around its axis until the Earth is destroyed. All using the Universe Sandbox Simulator, let's go! Currently, the Earth's rotation period as we're used to is almost 24 hours. I will immediately change it to 22 hours, meaning a day on Earth is now 22 hours. Let's look at the consequences. I'll hide the atmosphere clouds from view. And we see that in North America everything seems to be fine for now, although it looks like Florida is flooding uncertainly. In Europe, the stoicest... Um... The situation looks like this. Australia seems unchanged. Well, since that's the case, let's set 20 hours per day on Earth. We see that the rotational speed of the Earth, of course, increases to 0.55 km per second. And it seems like here in North America, land is starting to appear near the coast. Uh, well, it looks like the ocean has become very shallow. Let's now set 18 hours in a day on Earth. So something is happening. Here you see land is appearing. And quite a bit of land is appearing here quite significantly. Now what's happening in the rest? Here in South America everything is fine. In Africa nothing seems to be happening but here on the Arabian Peninsula there is a little bit some bodies of water appear inside this peninsula and something unclear is happening. Near Italy too it's as if the water might recede and in Europe everything seems frozen. Most likely winter has come. And even here in Australia something is starting to happen. Here in the south of Australia water is penetrating inland. Let's see what happens right here if I set 16 hours a day on earth. In our simulator 10 days pass per second and we see that yes the water is it increasingly spreads across Australia. I understand that this will likely happen to other continents as well. Meanwhile in North America the water is receding and here it's as if a stream has appeared. It all looks quite interesting. Now I'm setting 14 hours a day on Earth. The speed is already almost 0.8 km per second. In Australia more and more water is appearing. Regarding the probability of life on Earth it has already decreased and stands at 85%. And now in Europe, near Italy, as I mentioned, yes, as we see, land has appeared here. That is, the sea has receded, and now I'll set it like this, and we'll see how much the land increases here when I make the Earth's rotation period around its axis 12 hours. And it has increased a little bit more, but for now it is adding up slowly, not too fast or significantly. And in South America water is also specifically appearing. Look, it is just pouring along this continent northward, reaching the Amazon River and now connecting here with the Atlantic Ocean. Wow, and what about in Africa? In Africa for now there are no changes. Well, let's set 10 hours per day on Earth and see what happens here. Oh, now water is starting to flood the Sahara Desert. Look, the Sahara Desert is getting water. Who wanted water in Africa? Well, here is the water for you. And water is also appearing on the west coast of Africa. And now the water is flowing right to the equator. And here the coast has been flooded incredibly. Alright, in Australia the situation is like this. And here what's interesting is um, up the island of New Guinea, if I'm not mistaken, half of the island just flooded. In China, well, a lot of land appeared along the coast. Well, let's set it to 8 hours now for a day on Earth. See how the water started to recede from Greenland and the Arctic Ocean. Well, that's tough. Let's immediately set it to 6 hours a day on Earth here and as we can see it shifted. Right now, Greenland will even join with Europe. North America and Europe are going to reunite. Oh, she look how it flooded here. Oh my, what about Africa? Wow, Africa is unrecognizable. The equator is almost flooded and South America is almost flooded too. In short, water is accumulating at the equator and receding from the poles. Half of Australia is gone. New Zealand has already connected with Antarctica. Incredible. Now we will have four hours in a day on Earth. Oh. Oh, Shaist is plodding concussy mobi even more here. It was so clear how the water just poured in and here the land is creeping and creeping towards the equator. The same situation in the south. Crazy. Let's now make it two hours a day on earth and it's getting even harsher but there are still a few patches of greenery so life hasn't disappeared everywhere just yet. At the earth's rotation speed now, sh speed now shows five and a half kilometers and all the water has simply gathered at the equator. If you turn 
turn on the atmosphere, clouds on the display, everything looks like this. It seems like everything is rotating as it did before. I'll hide the atmosphere and clouds again. The probability of life has already dropped to 60%. The mass and radius of the Earth are unchanged. Well, now the most interesting part will begin because if you set one hour... If a day on Earth lasted an hour, Earth would start losing matter. Look at how everything simply flies off from Earth. I'll turn on the atmosphere and cloud display. There's no need to hide them anymore. Earth appears very heated. It instantly heated up to 11,000 degrees Celsius. The temperature still seems to be rising and the mass and radius are starting to decrease for obvious reasons. The Earth's rotation speed is almost 10 kilometers per second. And now let's make it 50 minutes. A day on Earth, it's getting more intense. If we take off the space glasses, of course, we will be blinded, won't see anything, so we'll put them on and watch comfortably. As we can see, the rotation period stabilizes over time, but we won't let it fully stabilize and we'll set the rotation period to 45 minutes. Oh, most okay, more fragments are flying off, total chaos is happening and destruction, it's already clear that there is no life on Earth, now we'll set 40 minutes for a day. Uh, the Earth is, the Earth is still holding on for now. Let's see what speed the Earth can withstand. The rotation was already 11 kilometers per second, now we will make the day 35 minutes. Uh, 20 kilometers per second, 15 kilometers per second of rotation, incredibly fast. Fragments keep scattering and scattering, the mass is already half of Earth. The radius doesn't decrease as quickly as the mass. Temperature is 8000 degrees, now I'll make the day on Earth 30 minutes. The Earth might uh, Earth might withstand this, however it is losing a lot of material. Now I will set the day to 25 minutes. Oops. And what happens? Our Earth just fell apart into pieces. Look at this, it's incredible. Probably, but something is still there, as I can see. This, as I understand, is Earth's inner core that remains and it has a mass of only 0.04% and a radius of 0.28% glows like a star. The temperature was 5000 degrees. Now the object is cooling down and it's rotating at a speed of over 3 kilometers per second or 51 minutes. Well, let's repeat the same thing again and make it 25 minutes. The rotation period that is a day. Uh, that's how it is. Now let's make it TM uh, 20 minutes per day on this object. Will it survive? It still exists for now but is actively losing its mass and now let's make it 15 minutes. Whoa! And 15 minutes were enough for this object to already be destroyed. Well, that's it. Everything disintegrated into gas, dust and ch- Justice looks like this, all beautiful and elegant. It's pleasant to watch, but of course the Earth no longer exists. So, in this way, it turns out I destroyed Earth. Do not describe it in the comments, this is just an experiment. So, that's the outcome of the experiment. How do you like it? Write your opinion in the comments and don't forget to give a like. Thank you very much for watching and until the next experiments in the universe.